All right, Tyler Perry fans. Now, this is a topic that honestly I never thought I would discuss on this channel, but it was brought up in the comment section of my YouTube live stream yesterday. And I already left in the comment section of that live stream that um, the live stream itself, I apologize for it ending randomly like it did, but for whatever reason, the live stream just cut off. I don't know if it was the Wi Fi or YouTube, but I'll definitely be doing another live stream sometime this week, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, today it is Sunday. I've pretty much been sleeping in and I think most of the day is going to be spent recording uh, because tomorrow I need to list more stuff on eBay. Then this upcoming week, I have a couple of meetings I need to go to. So that newspaper article that came out about me a couple uh, weeks ago actually kind of spur sparked some interest. Possibly not like, you know, full time job anything. It's just like, you know, people who are curious about YouTube who already have their own businesses and, you know, just want to sit down and talk. And not to mention, you know, remember, I'm a full-time YouTuber. I work from home. So any opportunity to just get out of the apartment and interact with other people, I'm down for that. And then this Friday is the day I go to court to fight that traffic ticket I got last month. And I'm praying for that to go well because I I just want to get it over with. Like, I'm just stressing about it, but, but, you know, hopefully it goes well. So this time next week, I'll be a lot more relaxed. But in any case, uh, the topic for this video is, hey, um, Jeremy, why don't you start a petition to have Tyler Perry added to the Hollywood Walk of Fame with a star? Um, and I never thought about it, honestly, never, no. But um, people were wondering if I should, and I'm like, well... Instead of just, you know, voicing my opinion in the live stream, I said I want to do research because I'm aware of what the Hollywood Walk of Fame is, but I want to know how exactly one goes about getting on there because, you know, I didn't want to just, you know, voice my opinion. He deserves a star, but it's like, let's look into it a bit more, see if he qualifies and we'll go from there. And, uh, you know, I took some time this afternoon to research, you know, the Hollywood Walk of Fame website and um, Wikipedia actually has a full description of everything in terms of the categories, uh, people who have multiple stars and things like that. And I believe there are five different categories and I think Tyler Perry could fit into three. You have motion pictures, which is represented by the classic film camera. Uh, you have broadcast television recognized by the television receiver. And when I mention like television receiver, classic film camera, that's like the, I believe, the symbol on the star that's on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Uh, audio recording or music, which is the phonograph record. Broadcast radio, which is the radio microphone. And representing theater and live performance. Uh, that's going to be the comedy and tragedy mask. Now, based off these five things, I would think that Tyler Perry could possibly fit into three uh, motion pictures because you know obviously all of his movies broadcast television due to his multiple television programs he's had over the years and here's the one that I think he's probably most likely to win if he were to be nominated I would think he had the best chance of making theater and live performance for comedy well which is represented by the comedy and tragedy mass due to his bread and butter being the theater you know doing his plays and shows and i mean i honestly think this probably has the best chance of winning one of the stars and looking into the history of it a bit more i want to see how exactly one gets nominated how did they get chosen and you know what happens from there and uh let's see here looking through the list i actually took some notes uh it says each year, an average of 200 nominations are submitted to the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce of Fame Selection Committee. Anyone, including fans, can nominate anyone active in the field of entertainment as long as the nominee or his or her management approves the nomination. A letter of agreement from the nominated celebrity or representative must accompany the application. Nominees must have a minimum of five years experience in the category for which they are nominated and a history of charitable contributions. I'm pretty sure Tyler Perry has more than five years experience making movies, doing his television shows, and of course, the theater. Not to mention, he's done a lot of charitable things. I mean, there are probably things we haven't even heard about that he does, but I think more recent events, we know, like, you know, um, what was it, last Christmas? He, like, bought, he paid off everyone's layaways at Walmart in, uh, was it Georgia? 
And then there have been a few times we've heard about him buying houses for people and, you know, cars and whatnot. So, I mean, personally, I think he would um, actually qualify for the ch charitable contributions. And uh, basically from there, uh, you know, <laughs> you would need a letter of agreement from Tyler Perry or Tyler Perry Studio. So I guess for anyone who submits the application, they would also have to get the letter of agreement from the nominated celebrity or representative. Um, could I do the application? Yes. But the letter of agreement, eh, well, think of it this way, guys. And don't take this as me being bitter. I'm actually stating this as a fact. All the tweets and the videos and everything I've done, I've never heard from Tyler Perry himself. So I doubt that I can actually get the letter of agreement myself. So if there's anyone who lives in Atlanta who um, probably has more. Well, then again, just because you live in Atlanta doesn't mean you know Tyler Perry either. But you know what I mean? So in terms of the application, anyone can do it. Any fan can do it. But we would need a letter of agreement from the nominated celebrity or representative. So I guess you could say you would either have to get in contact with Tyler Perry directly or Tyler Perry Studios. So, hmm. but in any case, uh, the celebrity or excuse me, the recipient recipient must be present at the ceremony. Living recipients must agree to personally attend within two years of selection. If the ceremony is not scheduled within two years, a new application must be submitted. Yeah, it's pretty um, interesting because from the average of 200 nominations the hollywood chamber of commerce walk of fame committee pretty much um, meets up each june and the committee selects approximately 20 to 24 celebrities to receive stars on the walk of fame and each year one uh, posthumous for you know any deceased celebrity is given each year as well so hmm it's very interesting i mean i think honestly Tyler Perry should definitely get it for theater live performance. And, you know, I think it would be pretty. Now, I, I think it would be funny to us, but probably not for him. It's like, what if Medea got a Hollywood's uh, Walk of Fame star? You know, like, you know, oh, it's the Medea farewell tour, the Medea family funeral. It's, it's the end of Medea. So we're going to give her a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. What would Tyler Perry say to that? I mean, he would probably be, you know, laughing or something like that, but also, you know, impressed that a character based off a family member got so huge that. You know, his biggest grossing movies are Medea films and, um, you know, Diary of Matt Black one was the first big movie of his, which pretty much opened the door for everything else. And, you know, the fact that he got sick of Medea and just wanted to kill her off is kind of like, you know, yeah, I'm finally going to get rid of her so I can work on other things. And just to stick it to him, it's like, you know what? I can't do a Medea impression. It's like, you know what, Tyler, you wanted to kill me off, so I'm going to spite you by getting a walk, uh, star on the Walk of Fame before you do. So can you imagine Tyler Perry attending the ceremony, and if he attended, he had to be dressed as Medea, the one thing he's ready to get rid of, um, you know, above all else. So I think that would be pretty interesting. But um, some people are telling me that he might not want to star on the Walk of Fame because, you know, how, like, Hollywood and whatnot rejected his... Um, television shows like the what was it house of pain originally came on the wb but you know they weren't big on him talking about you know christianity and god and whatnot and faith so he decided to move to tbs and you know some people are saying well because of that he probably doesn't want to be involved with that but you know i can understand um people's opinion on that i really don't have an opinion because i really don't know how he feels about it but yeah, I think if Tyler Perry were to be nominated, I think he would have the best chance, or Medea, but I, let's just say Tyler Perry, um, for theater and live performance. So that's my opinion on that. But uh, with that being said, folks, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Uh, do you think we should start a... Well, I really don't even know if we need to start a movement per se. I mean, literally, it's just an application and a letter of agreement. So until we get the letter of agreement, we probably can't put in an application. So thanks so much for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts on this. Uh, what star on the Walk of Fame do you think Tyler Perry might be most um, eligible for? Remember, I think the top three would be motion pictures, broadcast, and theater or live performance. So subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you soon.